Our first inductee in the administrators category is the late E. Wayne Cooley of Iowa. In a year in which the 50th anniversary of Title IX is being celebrated, Dr. E. Wayne Cooley had already established athletics programs for girls in Iowa long before the 1972 law went into effect. As executive director of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union from 1954 to 2002, Cooley made it his mission to ensure that every girl in Iowa had the same opportunity as the boys. One of the biggest things I remember, particularly about my dad, was, now mind you, I was very young, and I thought, what a wonderful job he has. He gets to go to softball games and basketball games and track meets, but it, as a young child, it didn't occur to me all the work that he was doing. So that just seemed kind of normal to me. And the fact that he was not home that often because he did work such long hours seemed normal. You know, it was fine with me. And my mother was kind of the glue that kept the family together. The whole Title IX thing is an interesting story because in 1972 I was a senior in college and I was away from home and I had heard that Title IX had passed and I was kind of curious about it so I researched it a little bit and then a couple of days later I made my weekly call home and I was talking to dad and I said so I said what do you think about this whole Title IX thing and he was like oh it's a good thing it's about time and I said okay, but let me ask you this, I don't understand the big deal. I said, we had all that. And he just kind of chuckled and said, yes, we did, but he said, you have to understand, most states didn't. So it was kind of a pivotal moment for me because I think that's when I kind of started to realize everything he had accomplished. He had kind of a mantra that he used throughout his career with the girls union and it was he said it many times he said I just want the Iowa girl to be able to walk down the street with her head held as high as the boy athlete not any higher but as high and he said I just want her to have the dignity and credit that she's earned and I think that kind of summed it up he just you know, my dad always wanted to stay in the background. He didn't want to be in the limelight. He said, that's for the Iowa girl. And um, I, I think I can honestly say, I think he provided them the tools over the years to be able to be proud of themselves. Um, you know, from the very beginning, as is with so many things in life, you, you face one challenge and you beat it, and then inevitably another one pops up. That happened throughout his career. The whole 80 thing, I think that was a number that just mysteriously came up one day and he said, I'm going to work till I'm 80. He said that sounded like a good number. So he just had so much energy and he, I think he just truly enjoyed working. And he did have a unique job if you think about it. I mean, um, of course I think anything in this sports area is, is exciting. So I think he was just happy to keep working. And then one day he decided it was time to go. His music background, I think I had, he had said once that it just seemed to keep following him around, but he was very talented. He also played the clarinet. He had a beautiful tenor, <clears throat> tenor voice. Um, when Frank Knox, Secretary of the Navy, died during the war, he was a soloist at his funeral. Um, he just, and, and I think one reason he was so successful with the girls' union was that his sports background, he had kind of experienced so many different sides of it. He officiated, he coached, he played in several different sports. So his background uh, was perfect. Someone had once said that when he took the girls' job that he was kind of the right man in the right state at the right time. and I. I think that's probably true. People have to understand that in Iowa, high school sports were huge. We had no pro teams in Iowa. You also had an agricultural state with a lot of small rural towns. So if your team made it to the state tournament, that was huge. I mean, there were small towns where the whole town shut down if the girls made it to the tournament. So it was kind of neat. 
He was a great sports administrator and he set a wonderful example for me as to how to be successful in life. Work hard, be passionate about what you're doing, and don't ever think you've learned everything because you haven't. Oh, being inducted, he'd feel very good about it, you know. <clears throat> I feel bad he's not here to accept it on his own, but I'm proud to get it for him. What do I get out of it? I get a lot of pride. The fact that every girl walks down every main street of every town in Iowa just as tall as the boy. <laughs>